On the campus of UCLA, historic Pauley Pavilion is undergoing a state-of-the-art renovation. To those who have been inside Pauley, the renovation will feel new, yet familiar. What we have is we have old poly under glass basically. So what you see in the architecture, huge amount of glass windows on the, on the east side. And the reason being is the um, architectural intent is to see old poly through new. And so, you know, as much glass as we could put out there, as much graphics that we could uh, put out there that the people can see uh, any time of the day or night. Probably the most overriding issue on that whole thing was what Coach wanted. And Coach asked for that building to stay relatively in the same state it's in. Great building, it's 48 years old. By standards of uh, preservationist terminology, it is a historic building based on people of note and events of note that have gone on there. So Coach Wooden, 11 national championships, 38 championships altogether. All that is, uh, is iconic and meets the litmus test, if you will, for the historians. It's a compilation of the input of a lot of people, which was important. The Polly family, Coach Wooden, uh, the students, the coaches, our season ticket holders to sort of give us an idea of what we want to do with New Poly. And so all that has been sort of rolled into the architectural intent of the new building. We have no luxury suites. The people who are season ticket holders who uh, have supported us through thick and thin indicated that that wasn't really a priority for them. Everyone harkened back to the fact that they wanted Poly Pavilion in sort of its, its, its state where it was. As you walk in, Poly is remarkably the same as a bowl. We just added the amenities of new seating and new step tread patterns and new rails and new concessions, all that that's going to give the patron uh, an upgraded experience that they're going to have at Poly Pavilion. But at the same time, we're not emulating a big dome or a super event stadium. Once we had that uh, sort of the base of what we want to do with Poly Pavilion, then we can tell our story and we tell it in a graphic way. And so every, uh, what we call a, an entry vom into, a, into the pavilion will tell a story about another facet of what's going on in that building. The championships that have been won there, the athletic excellence, if you will, the graduations, the concerts. So that's five entries into the building. So seven different ways to enter Poly Pavilion. This building has so many hooks in it for future. Primarily, that, a lot of that is in the communications field. If we have a, an infinite highway that we can build uh, for all, for, to hang anything on, that's number one. So everything that they shoot on the court goes back to the main server. This will be sort of a wall of fame. Everyone who's been in the pros, everyone who's an All-American, retired jerseys. And it's not only an athletic building, it is a campus building. It's the largest assembly space on campus. You know, it's going to accommodate whatever people want to do in that building. Olympics were here in 1984, so that was a huge thing. Uh, so we hosted gymnastics here. It also, the campus was an Olympic village, so that was huge for, for the campus in itself. We've done Clinton debates here. Michelle Obama was here two years ago. Okay, so this is a pavilion club. What you see from wall to wall is really the hole we dug back two and a half years ago. And this is a room that holds about 300, 350 people, depending on how we're going to use it. So this was the hole. This was the big hole that went all the way down to the floor. That is actually the outside of Poly Pavilion. So where those columns are around Poly Pavilion, that's that line right there. Those are, those are the four best words in, in construction. We are on time, we are on budget.